Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. To understand the concept very clearly, please watch the video till the end. Once you are done with watching the video, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon. So today we are going to learn about do while. So let's have a look at the definition. What does it say? It says executes the statements repetitively till the time given condition is true. Meaning if you are running a do loop based on a condition. So till the time when condition is true do will do while loop will continue the iteration. The moment condition becomes false the do while loop terminates. Let's have a look at its syntax. So this is what the syntax structure goes on. It starts from do while under this parenthesis operator which is quite important and mandatory right within this you need to provide the expression expression could be anything which is acceptable in SAS like a condition right that can be any whatever condition you want to apply it is going to put that under this parenthesis operator then over here you will put provide the operation which you want do while to perform and then here you need to end this statement there are some highlights for do while which we need to be careful about which we need to note first point is the expression is evaluated at the top of the loop before the statement in the do loop are executed meaning so when you when the do loop do while loop starts so before executing this statement the expression gets evaluated when the expression matches to the given condition then this statement gets executed if it does not match to the given condition it terminates over here itself means that it does not proceed further to do your actions next it says if the expression is false the first time it is evaluated the do loop does not iterates even once that's what i just said so let me just remove this first so let's understand this second point what is say what is it saying so it says the expression is false if the expression is false the first time it is evaluated meaning when do while starts it evaluates the condition or expression over here and here itself if sas finds the expression is false the loop terminates over here it does not even proceed even once that's what it wants to say over here now let's look at an example here is a small table which has the iteration of one two and three means it has been iterated thrice. How we can populate this kind of counter using do while? So for that we have written a syntax something like this. Okay. So here we are creating a table named testing and we are creating a variable x to which we are giving the value 1. Alright. Now here from here do while loop starts. And the condition we have said do while we are saying SAS output the data while X is either less than or equals to 3. Okay. So here ask here we are asking SAS to do two things. One first thing we are asking SAS to do is output the data. All right. Whatever our data is over here, whatever iteration comes over here just output that and the moment it outputs we are also saying to increase this variable this counter by one all right and then end this and then we will close the data step with a run statement so this is how the so sas will start and then it evaluates the condition then output the data which is a statement this statement we said this statement is this part all right this expression comes over here this part okay so this is how do while 
loop works. Let's understand this do while with a workflow. So here is the syntax. Okay. Now the workflow starts. We provide this kind of syntax over here and then we run it. Then workflow starts and what happens when it starts? Here it evaluates the condition. So this one when first it starts the x variable has the value of 1. So this condition is true meaning the x, va x variable this x is less than or equals to 1 because this x contains the value at first 1 and which is less than or equals to 3 then it evaluates and it finds that the condition is true then it pro proceeds further and then it creates a table name testing and into that it populates the first iteration now the second thing which we have asked is add one into the x value all right so the second task it will do it will this is the value of x when the loop has started and one will be added to this thing all right and then again what will happen so here the first iteration is complete at this point first iteration is completed correct now because it's it's a loop so it will again go back to the condition and here this time one plus one it has become two so here it finds that the x value is two however it, this is still less than or equals to less than three so again it will check it's true and then again it will proceed and in the testing table it will populate the second iteration and in the counter it will add the second value because here the in this time x had the value two and one will be added so this time the value will become three now again this value become three uh, again the things will be evaluated this x variable has value 3 this time which is still less than or equals to 3 this time 3 is equals to 3 still the logic is true so then again it will go and populate the third iteration in testing table and again it will come to the counter and here the x value has 3 so 3 plus 1 this will become 4 so now the condition becomes false 4 is not less than or equals to 3 so the condition is false and then the loop terminates over here so this is how do while process works i just hope that you understand the concept if in case you have any kind of doubt please do not forget to put that doubt in comment section we will definitely get back to you until then thank you very much for watching the video wish you very good luck